What's going on guys? Hope you're having an awesome day and welcome to another Real Estate Monthly Market Update. And once again guys, we had a record breaking month for real estate sales. So the real estate market across the Durham region last month in the month of August experienced a 45% increase from the same time last year. More specifically, there was 1,515 residential transactions last month and this is a 45% increase from the same time last year. So there was more transactions that were done this year, August, compared to last year, August. And on top of that, there's actually a big increase on new listings. So the number of new listings increased over on a year-over-year -year basis by 19%. So summarize, there's 19% more inventory, more homes for sale this year compared to the same time last year, and we're still in the middle of a pandemic. There is an increased demand for housing. Buyers are extremely motivated to purchase real estate. It could be for various reasons. It could be because of the attractive mortgage rates. It could be the, uh, the reduced stress test. But one way or the other, there is demand for real estate in the midst of a pandemic. And the average days on the market has reached 14 days. So it takes the average house 14 days of being on the market before it sells compared to being on the market for 29 days, which was reported in August 2019. Now that's not it guys, the average house sale price across the Durham region has also increased and has gone to now $734,136. This is a 19% increase from the same time last year, but on a month over month basis, prices have gone up by 3.5% over the past 30 days days and that's crazy let me share with you guys some quick charts so this chart right here talks about the average home price over the past uh, three years actually but i want to bring a focus to this orange block right here this block indicates the year 2020 so since april the average house price has gone up every single month and we're still in the midst of a pandemic so it's pretty clear to say the market has not gone down and this blue block right here guys this is from last year from 2019 so anybody who purchased real estate or invested in real estate in august 2019 they have already seen a substantial increment or growth in 365 days in one year's time this chart right here talks about the number of new listings oh sorry about that and for all the folks that follow me on social media I, i'm sure you guys have heard me say that the one of the reasons why the real estate market is so hot is because of the lack of inventory there's less homes on the market compared to the amount of demand the demand that we have and because of that uh houses have multiple offers on them this right here is for the month of August. This right here is 2020. And this blue tab right here is for the year 2019. So compared to this time last year, we have a lot more inventory. We have a lot more houses on the market. Buyers have a lot more properties to choose from. And that's crazy. It's just that we have way too much buyer demand.